The Friday Features, a celebration of video game culture, an exploration of what it means to be a gamer, a journey across magical worlds, through a kaleidoscope of emotion, and into a warm sea of comforting nostalgia. Yeah, can't be bothered with any of that this week, so here's another one about trophies. Ah, trophies, it's been too long, but you've been on my mind recently, what with 2018 being my most productive year of trophy hunting since 2010, a year that saw me adding Platinums in Nino Kuni 2 and Spyro to my haul of what is now Five whole platinums. You know, I'm not a trophy hunter. I'm only going for the platinum if A, I love the game, and B, the trophies are really easy. Which is fine. You know, I play games as an escape. I play to win easily and to feel good about myself. And trophies give me that most of the time because there are the odd few trophies that are basically just there to laugh at us for getting it wrong. The trophy equivalent of your school friends pointing and laughing when you fall over in the playground. They can't just leave it be, can they? You know, stay quiet and let you get on with your life with a little dignity. No, they have to make a massive song and dance about it. Ha, look who's failed. Look who sucks. Look who's really bad at video games. Here are seven times trophies mocked us for being rubbish. First up is the hilariously easy to earn No Show Trophy from 2017's Prey, a brilliant first person sci fi adventure set aboard a creepy space station and the game that made us forever terrified of seemingly benign objects like mugs and toilet roll. But some of us never even made it to the space station. Some of us achieved stratospheric levels of in-game failure before the game had even really begun. So right at the start, when everything's still rosy and the sun's still shining, a helicopter lands to pick you up for work from your swish apartment. Because this is the start of the game, you're still doing that first five minutes thing of testing out the controls a bit, you know, testing the limits of what the game will and won't let you do. Can I fall off the edge of the building? Can I jump? Can I climb? You'd have thought I'd have learned not to muck about like this after what happens to dawdlers at the start of Deus Ex Human Revolution, but no, here I still am, years later, mucking about again. Here I am discovering you can climb onto the nose of the helicopter that comes to pick you up for work. And now here I am discovering that heads do not mix well with furiously rotating helicopter rotor blades. Oh. Ping! No show, laughs the game, laying a perfect trap for the instinctual RPG explorers among us and then chortling away when we fall right into it. Well, the joke's on you, Prey, because I did this deliberately for the trophy, okay? As you can see by my PSN profile, I really went for the platinum on this one. Next up, it's I Meant To Do That from Crash Bandicoot in the Insane Trilogy, a thing Crash players say all the time, like when they discover the secret Aegipus Rex level in Crash 3 warped by running straight into a pterodactyl. Ah, I meant it. I did it on purpose. No, I didn't. Anyway, you earn this softly mocking trophy for doing a thing I guarantee every Crash player has done at least once spinning away an extra life. You spin lots in Crash. It's how he attacks. It's how he opens his post, probably. And it's how he opens the in-game crates. When you get a load of crates all bunched up together, it's tempting, isn't it, to just mash that spin button. Spin, 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 smash, 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 gulp, 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 lovely wump of fruit in my belly. But rather than having the spin attack automatically collect, extra life tokens. I mean, that would have been the kind thing, wouldn't it, End Same Trilogy? What it actually does is send them agonizingly into the void, forever uncollected, all alone and sad. Until they're joined by the 68 lives I lost attempting the high road, obviously. There's no trophy for that, sadly. Our third entry is simply called Oops. Brilliant word, isn't it? Oops. You know, it's so versatile in terms of the severity of the mistake for which you can use it. For instance, you could say, 
oops, I forgot to put the bins out, or oops, I think I left the bathroom light on. Or in the case of Abe's Odyssey, new and tasty, oops, I wasn't paying attention and now I've accidentally killed a Madokan. Oops. To be fair, they're not particularly bright, and so when you're first playing the game, you could be forgiven for thinking they'd avoid environmental hazards of their own accord, but no, you have to hold their hands, tell them exactly what to do and where to go, otherwise, yeah. Thanks for the trophy, new and tasty. It does make me feel a bit better, I suppose, but not much. Entry 4 on our list of 7 times trophies mocked us for being rubbish is from Surgeon Simulator, a game at which I'm not particularly good, I'll admit, as this long ago footage of me playing the game with Bossa Studios will attest. But this trophy, called What Have I Done, is less a trophy for being a bit rubbish and more one for being an absolute nutcase. To earn What Have I Done, you have to lose a patient in 15 seconds. What have I done? You know exactly what you've done. You've trophy hunted and you've bashed poor old Bob's face in with a surgical hammer. In fact, I'm not actually sure this trophy deserves a place on this list, but too late now I've written it, because I think you actually have to be quite competent at the game in order to lose a patient in 15 seconds. Lose. Murder. Tomato. Tomato. There are even strategy guides online, well, strategy sentences, on the best way to go about doing this. My favourite one, from PlayStationTrophies.org, instructs you to just grab the circular saw and use it to crack the skull and keep hitting the brain. I don't know why I sound disapproving. This is totally my kind of game. Murder, lose Bob in 15 seconds, and ping, mocking trophy earned. Trim your moustache is our next trophy, and this is a cruel one you earn in Octodad, forgetting the titular cephalopod munched by a marauding lawnmower. The cruel thing is you actually have to do something quite good in order to earn this trophy. Now, controlling Octodad is pretty tough as it is, you know, he's an octopus in a suit, life is not easy. To the point where doing anything in the game often results in hilarious bouts of slapstick silliness. Near the start of the game you're tasked with clearing up your garden. The last thing you'll have to do is attach the birdhouse to the tree. So you pick up the birdhouse, you fumble and hook it on a tree, and BAM! Here comes the lawnmower, but it's fine because you're holding on to the birdhouse still and don't get sucked in. However, try and be clever about it and chuck the birdhouse onto the tree, much like an earlier trophy encourages you to do with a wedding ring, although that's onto a finger, just to clarify, not a tree. Chuck the birdhouse onto the tree and Octodad is not holding onto it when the lawnmower arrives. Q, well, trimmed moustache, apparently. I feel set up, Octodad, you know. One minute you're encouraging me to throw things, and doing so takes no small amount of skill and perseverance, and then when I do it, you're just killing me and laughing. Not cool, Octodad, not cool. Thanks for the trophy, though. Our penultimate entry is less a mockery of rubbishness, although it is also that, and more a case of a video game just getting absolutely sick and tired of players messing about. Resident Evil 4's Don't Shoot the Water trophy knows we're not going to listen to what it says, and instead we're going to HA! Shoot the water! Shoot the water, yeah! Who cares about conserving bullets? You can't tell me what to do, video game. Ah! This is a running theme in Resi 4. If you shoot Louis Serra, for instance, in that iconic shootout in the hut one too many times, then he just turns around and kills you. Proper game over and everything. Likewise, Del Largo does not appreciate you putting bullets into its forever home. You know, it's already got Ganados chucking diseased corpses in it, and so Leon, merrily plugging away, is just the last straw. An instant game over for you, and a trophy from Resi 4 that, when you see it pop, Feels like a right clip round the ear. I told you not to shoot the water, didn't I? Look what happens. Start again. Our final entry is a trophy from Little Big Planet 2, 
Mortal Coil Shuffler Extraordinaire, which, if you don't think about what any of the words mean, actually sounds quite prestigious, doesn't it? But really, you get this trophy for dying 20 times in one story level, so you know, sit back down, sack boy. This is a trophy you do not want to be collecting. Unfortunately, though, if you want that Little Big Planet 2 Platinum trophy, you gotta die 20 times in one level. As well as acing every level and spending 24 straight hours in create mode, but those are difficult trophies you'll feel good about earning, whereas the old Mortal Coil Shuffler Extraordinaire makes you feel less sack boy than sack of poo. It really is the ultimate wooden spoon prize, isn't it? You know, a cacophonous explosion of unwanted attention on an embarrassing thing you've done. And so there you go, another Friday feature about trophies, this time ones you definitely will not want to unlock. Let us know if you have any of these, or if you can think of any we've missed, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss another Friday feature. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. For the players.